Okay, here's another beautiful um, reproduction of the 4005 Marconi key, uh, otherwise known as a guillotine key because of the guillotine here. Um, this one was made by Phil Boyle, and it is a copy of the RMS Titanic key. Uh, beautiful rendition. The only thing I can see with this key that is uh, missing, and Phil was aware of that. I spoke to him, and uh, he couldn't figure out how to get it attached and to stay. I mentioned what I would have done, and he... <laughs> light bulb went off. He said, I can't believe I didn't think of that. And that would have been just a screw hole. Anyway, there's an eye right here. A brass eye uh, that went through the guillotine or the lever. So, and it had a, a string attached to it, a cord, that went up and over and then a handle on it. So in the event of emergency, they needed to go ahead and, and cut the circuit. They would go ahead and pull down on that cord, and it, which was attached to the eye right here. And it would lift up the guillotine, uh, breaking the connection. So that's a little bit about this, but this is a beautiful rendition of the key. Um, let's see here, you've got a uh, nice little plaque there on the front. And uh, I'll go ahead and try to give you a little example here. There you go. Beautiful um, reproduction of the RMS Titanic key, otherwise known as the 4005 Marconi key.